August 2nd it's a Sunday just got done doing some work outside and I'm gonna eat my first meal today it's gonna be really random because and I have dirt all over my face um, it's gonna be very random because today um, is date afternoon for my husband and I we're gonna go see a movie we're gonna go see vacation um, and then we're going to probably go to this place called bad daddy's burgers I think it's called um, and I expect there to be a lot of fat and then carbs and all that goodies. So I'm keeping it simple this morning. Or this, it's 11.30. Um, two slices of just regular 45 calorie bread. Um, one serving of regular jelly, some spray butter, and three egg whites, hard boiled. So I'm going to eat this, take a shower, get ready to go, and we'll catch you later. Doing? Do a selfie? <laughs> no, I'm videoing your big old cheeseburger or something. What is that? I have no idea. It's got six pieces of bacon though. You took half of it. Oh, you took the pickle out. I don't even know what's on mine, but it looks good. Hey guys, it is August 3rd now, I think. Yeah, <laughs> August 3rd. And after we got home from our date, I still had a few macros left, but I didn't eat because I started not feeling well. Not from what I ate, I think. It is, girls know what I'm going through. It's that time of the month and um, just started yesterday. So feeling super bloated and just gross last night. We went to bed early. And um, I feel better today, but still just kind of bleh. And the weather is really blah today, too. So I weighed in 123 this morning. Um, I'm going to take a few measurements today. Uh, I'll probably just do... I think what I'm going to do is not do full body measurements because I'm not worried about what my measurements are fully. Um, maybe in a month or so, I will take full body measurements again. But I'm mainly just going to measure my glutes and quads and waist area just to make sure um, that everything's on track each week and so you guys can see what's going on so I will do that here in a few minutes I'm just trying to catch up on some DIY network <laughs> some things that I've taped um, or uh, DVR or whatever you call it I don't know um, I'm gonna do that and then I have to paint some stuff on the shower walls where we're actually putting the tile in to help seal in moisture or seal out moisture or whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm waiting for the directions from my husband. He's at a side job today. So it's just me and Brinley. Um, I think later we're going to do a little mini grocery haul. Again, I go like every few days. So you guys get to see lots of my groceries that I get. Um, and then I'm thinking that I kind of want to start a project. You hey guys, totally working on the shower right now. Painting this pink stuff. I don't know, my husband told me to paint it on the blue part. So this is what I'm going to do. I think it just, oh lord, it's like silly putty. Huh. Alright. This should be, I guess it just seals in moisture, or seals out moisture, like, before you put the tiling in and stuff. Huh. I just got done painting that shower and of course it's like me to get it everywhere all over my foot I gotta get this stuff off <laughs> oh my god I throw the eggs in there and I let it cook just like you would a fried egg 
um, but it's just not done with a bunch of grease. So I'm cooking it and then I'll kind of divide it up. Let me show you here. Kind of divide these and just like let this egg white cook before I actually flip the yolk part. That way it stays runny and then the white part gets cooked. So I'll kind of separate this and get these yolks out of the way a little bit so that I'll flip them right before it's time to, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. So it's kind of hard to do with you guys here, but I'll flip this and keep cooking these whites on both sides right before I flip. Now I just broke this one, that's all right. So here's meal number one, 150 grams of red potato, two whole, or two whole eggs, one egg white, and I've got some sriracha and then one, 14 grams of Mexican cheese. And then I actually spray some spray butter on top for extra flavor. And then I've got 100 grams of strawberries. I'm gonna grab a fork. And yes, we totally are using plastic forks and spoons right now because that's how we're living. So basically I just break this open. You can see that runny yumminess. And then I just mix this all up and I eat it. So. It's really good on a tortilla hey guys, too. Um, I ate about an hour and a half ago, but I'm a little hungry. And I got the carbs. So um, these are two 45 calorie slices of multi grain bread by Sarah Lee. I've got some spray butter and just a serving of strawberry preserves or spread or something. It's organic. Um, and it's a full sugar kind. So I'm getting some carbs right here. I'm going to enjoy this. Hey guys, what's up? Um, no makeup today. It's not happening. And I'm gonna be doing a workout today. I'm so excited. It's been like five days since I've done a like a legit workout where I'm lifting heavy and all that good stuff. So I'm doing it today. I'm gonna do a big leg day. Glutes, obviously, and I might throw in some bike tries just for fun to get them in. Um, I am just finishing up at Target, or I did just finish up, up at Target. Hey guys, Got it a is three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting ready to go work out. And I'm gonna eat this prior to my workout. It's just two or two um, slices of whole grain or of the multi-grain um, 45 calorie bread. And then I've got about three ounces, actually 100 grams of buffalo style turkey. And then I've got um, a little bit of sweet, sweet salty mustard or sweet spicy mustard. And then um, half a serving of light mayo. And then 100 grams of blackberries. And I just took a Super HD. All right, getting ready um, to go work out, and I'm just mixing my pre-workout. So um, I'm going to take probably about a half a scoop of C4. Um, this is the 50X, and this is Icy Blue Rags. I don't know.
off my leg workout or glute and hamstring workout with some steady state cardio. Probably only do a half hour today since it's a little later in the day that I like. So I'm just catching up on some YouTube videos and then I'm gonna head home and make dinner. So it's gonna be chicken, rice, and veggies tonight. Keep it simple. Here's so post workout two caramel rice cakes by Kroger and one serving of Jif Whips caramel. Salted caramel. Can you say rainbow? Say rainbow. Rainbow. Say rainbow. Ooh. So cool. Ooh. Yeah. Bo. It's a rainbow. It looks almost like a triple. Almost. Well, it's a double. All right, you guys. It's dinner time, and these are weird. I don't know why those are sitting out. Those are for a Christmas tree. But I've got um, about four ounce portion of chicken. I might have a little more depending on my macros. And it's just coated in a garlic um, breadcrumb. I just baked it on convection for about 25 minutes. And then I've got uh, 45 grams of cooked rice. And then I've got half a serving, or I mean, sorry, half of a bag. So it's like one and a half servings of this broccoli with cheese sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this. And my daughter is eating hers. Say hi, baby girl. Is that good rice? And oranges? It's okay. It was just a dryer. Yeah, the dryer. Did you see a rainbow today? Yeah. You did? Did you see a rainbow? Yeah. Yeah. What are you wearing on your head? Um, what is that? Um, you got grandma's headband on? Say bye. Say bye. Blow a kiss. Good girl. All right, you guys, so here's where my macros ended up today. Um, don't pay attention to that goal number. I do try to hit about 105 to 110 protein, so I'm right on key with that one. My carbs I'm uh, today was supposed to be 190, and I'm at 181, so I was a little short there. No big deal. Fiber, I usually, my goal is between 24 and 32 grams a day. I hit 27, so that's good. Um, sugars, I never pay attention too much because I never go over. It's rare if I do. And then for my fats, um, I was under. All right, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.